Okay, well, here are the results of the um, hydrogen peroxide decomposition reaction that I did in the previous uh, video. Um, the chemical reaction is shown here. 2H2O2 yields 2H2O plus oxygen. And the oxygen is given off as a gas. The experimental result was that uh, the 3% hydrogen peroxide, 100 milliliters, should have 3 grams of hydrogen peroxide. It yielded 1.4 grams of oxygen. So this is my experimental result. The um, container, after I released the oxygen, weighed 1.4 grams less than it did initially. Uh, in order to calculate the percent yield, we need to calculate the th theoretical yield. And so we take the amount of hydrogen peroxide, 3 grams, uh, we convert it to moles by multiplying by one mole divided by 34.0 grams per mole. Okay. And then we convert that to moles of oxygen expected, which would be one mole of oxygen for every two moles of H2O2. So that's our stoichiometric ratio. And finally, we convert the moles of oxygen to grams by multiplying by the molar mass, 32 grams per mole. And that gives us 1.4 grams of oxygen. Well, um, we got the same amount uh, of oxygen as uh, our theoretical yield. And so the percent yield, which is the actual yield over the theoretical yield, is 100%. Now, again, um, I was just uh, taking the household hydrogen peroxide uh, listed a, as 3% on the bottle and assuming that it was 3 grams of hydrogen peroxide per 100 milliliters. Um, as I said, it could have been uh, titrated and we could get a more uh, precise answer. And I was using a, a, a balance that's good to 0.1 grams. And so uh, uh, to the uh, level of the experiment, it's 100% yield. But this is a nice little experiment, very easy to do, um, doesn't require any special equipment, it's very safe, and uh, it demonstrates how you would calculate a percent yield. So thank you for your attention, and I'll see you next time.